hello welcome so in previous video i have explained you all the elements about integration so in this video we will create our first integration and in this is integration i will print simple message hello message then after maybe we will create another video and we will use different different element in that integration so let first create any integration so just go to home select integration inside that integration select integrations and here for creating any integration you should have to click on this create button so once you will click on that create button you will get option to select the style check the pattern of that integration so the first i will select that is schedule orchestration so let me schedule the orchestration and just click on the schedule it will ask for name so here i will give the name of this integration as uh schedule sc sorry let you give hello print hello print s integration schedule integration 01 okay now you can see that identifier coming automatically so you can change this auto, uh, identifier yourself also and this is the version so this is the initial first version that is you can say that is 01 and now here document links we will empty this one we will not put any things here keyword we can use keyword here so that it will help us to search the integration and now it comes to package so whatever package i will assign here this integration will be assigned to that package so that we can import and export together right so let me assign this to integration so za so like oic dot za okay and sc because this is schedule orchestration so i will select sc so i will use different so like app driven ap and all so now here click on this create button so once you will click on that create button it will open the canvas where you can draw when you can use all the elements to create your integration so right now you can see that when we say select schedule orchestration we get two endpoints the first is schedule endpoint and otherwise in a stop endpoint so it means that this endpoint will help us to start the integration and this endpoint is used to stop the integration so now between a start after the start and before end i have to print log message so in previous video i have explained you about the logger so logger is help us to print the log messages so i will drag this logger here and i will give the name logger and create so here it will say you have two options always or when trace is enabled so when you will select trace is enabled while running the integration you need to enable the trace then only you can see the logger message else you will not get the logger message so i will select always so that if i forget to uh, enable the logger uh, trace i can get the message so here in logger message just click on this edit button and put the message so here i will put hi user this is first integration okay so just click on validate remember whatever message you will put you should put the message in double quotes here okay and just validate it and close so our logger is completed so let's validate again and close so now here what we have done so right now it's not looking good like it's coming in vertical so let me select as horizontal so here layout in layout just click here and select horizontal so that it can mean horizontal way so here now you can see that integration will start and then it will print the logger message and then it will stop right nothing else so just save and here you can see that we have one error message right so one error message is coming that it is mandatory to put the tracing variable while creating the integration so without tracing variable you cannot complete your integration so for adding that one just click here go to here and select any variable for tracing so uh, in case so in this case we have a start message this is start time that is a time of a starting the entire integration so i will use this variable to uh, as a tracking variable so just save and now you can see that error is resolved so now click on save so when everything will be okay then you can close and now you can see that your integration status will be in configure if your integration status is in configure it means that your integration is ready to run so first what we need to do we need to activate the integration so right now it is in s configure status once we will go for activate 
so while activating you can see that they ask for enabling enabling the tracing so here we should select these two so this allow us to show the log message and this include payload so as to read the uh, payload request and response payload in log message that's why we need to enable both two and just click on this activate so here if you will click on that activate you will your integration will be activated only and if you will click on this activate and schedule after activating your integration it will go for schedule page so that you can schedule your integration so here you can see that this is the page where we can schedule our integration so here you can see this is the frequency when you and how much in time interval you want to schedule your integration because this is schedule and orchestration integration that's why it asks for frequency so here you can see the frequency we have one only once if we will select only once it will run in after whatever time we will select it will run all the time and here you can see that hour and minute we can schedule the uh, integration and particular in uh, time time so here you can see that if you will select one minute right you can't schedule any integration to one minute of interval it's minimum required 10 minutes before like less than 10 minutes you can't schedule so here suppose i have given five and try to save it will generate error because we cannot schedule integration less than 10 minutes okay so now we have weeks days and months so we can schedule int our integration based on these things right and if you select only once so whatever time we will select over here that integration will run on that particular time so right now it's 137 let me select 138 okay so here everything is okay yeah 135 Uh, yeah sorry one i will 39 okay put i will 139 pm okay and now save so here you can say it save and just go back here you can see that our integration is scheduled okay so now just go to back for checking the integration so here come back in monitoring section you can see in integration and here tracing so here you can see that this is the schedule orchestration so let's just wait for our integration so once you will click on that uh, instance id like this instance id you will get to know about your integration so right now you can see the integration status is in queue so it will take some time to run so just refresh you can see that this integration is succeed it's completed so let us know how you can read the log message so just click on this i icon and you can see the log message here so here you can see that sometimes it will take some time to show all log messages so what you need to do you need to refresh here so once you will refresh again you can see that a log message over here so you can see that schedule request submitted schedule request started running time it's started here triggered as trigger a schedule run with message so here you can see that this is a message when it's started so this is the start time right whenever we submit and here you can see that this is the logger activity we have added logger element and in this logger whatever message we have set it's showing here hi user this is first integration okay so this is the basic integration first integration we have created in oic so in next video i will explain you how you can create your app driven orchestration integration so friends it's mandatory to have element to initiate the integration so in this case if you will see yeah if you want to edit your integration you need to first deactivate your integration so for deactivating just click here you can deactivate your integration after deactivating then you can edit your integration remember so here now we came here and if you will see this is now in configure status so it means that we can edit so just click here edit so let me explain you basic difference between app driven and orchestra and schedule orchestration so here when we select schedule orchestration by default we got two element like two end point that is a start end point as a schedule and end end point but when we will select that app driven we will not get this two end point so we have to create that two end point at the time of app driven orchestration for creating the initiating the integration we will use rest adapter so in next video first i will create the rest adapter connection then i will create the app driven orchestration 
So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to comment and subscribe this channel. Thank you so much.